Hello there, good people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday, I was basically out almost the whole day. I was a little bit busy, couldn't do the videos. Yesterday, I wanted to do the, do the reviews, but went very, very tired end of the day. So basically, uh, one up update, uh, if you actually follow my channel, uh, I actually sort of like uh, having vision problem. I couldn't read far away things, so I changed my specs. So it's, it's kind of almost the same frame, but uh, the power has changed significantly from the left one especially. So I'm seeing better, but things are still floating. You know, my eyes are adjusting, right? So, but hopefully I'll see better because my power is now more complex. So uh, please keep me in your prayers so I don't fall, <laughs> you know? So I have a few reviews to do. To make up for yesterday, I have about five videos, okay? Five, okay? One list and four individual reviews. Hopefully you will watch it, okay? So first episode, I am planning to do lemon-based perfumes. I have done sort of like a citrus base, you know, orange base from time to time, but you know, I bought some new ones and then I wanna bring back some old ones. And there's summer going on and people can appreciate citruses, right? So that's the idea. So I have about 12. Initially I put 10, then I added two. And understand this, I have a lot more citrus-based perfumes, lemon-based perfumes. But when I talk about lemon, you know, I try to talk about also like a little bit here and there, bergamot, you know, this and that, all belongs to the same family of citruses, right? So here we go, first one. I think I reviewed them all. Yes, they're all done. So first fragrance I'm gonna show you, check out the full review on each. It's called Ferrari's Radiant Bergamot. So if I talk about Ferrari, most of people will be like, hey, we'll be talking about bright Neroli, right? That one has a beautiful citrus Neroli. But uh, when you talk about Ferrari, this fragrance also is very underrated. It has sort of like a bitter sort of a uh, bergamot. It, it opens up kind of like a bitter, that, that uh, bergamot opens up very nice, but it's kind of like bitter. And it has some kind of like a almond or something that uh, dry down. It gets a little bit bitter, but it's very enjoyable and it's very unique as well. So this fragrance, you can definitely hunt down. Very beautiful juice color. One of my favorites, Radiant Bergamot White Ferrari. I'll write down the names. Number 11 is one of my favorite perfumes. It didn't make, uh, actually, let me do a reshuffle, okay? Uh, let me put number uh, 10 and 11 switch, okay? That's what I do. Uh, number 11, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite fragrances that started my Mansara journey. Bottle is almost finished, you can see. This is called Mansara's Lemon Line. It's a niche perfume, 120, 20 mil or so. This fragrance now, it's now, it's on a different cap. This is the vintage version. Uh, when I got it at first, I was blown away by the smell of it, you know, it was like a candied lemon. And it's just lemon, it gets a little bit bitter also, but it, it gets herbaceous, I think, a little bit different, but if you really like lemon and you want a very long lasting perfume, this is one of them, okay? Perhaps time for a backup bottle. Nowadays, it's kind of like became very basic to me, but I have a lot of good memories with it since 2017, 18, that time, okay? Mansara's lemon line number 10. Sorry, number 11. Number 10 is the fragrance I was talking about. I switched just now. I like it a little bit more than the lemon line, even though the performance is not as good as that, but I like this smell. This is CK1 Summer 2021. Every year they release some summer flankers. This is one of them. This is part of the series. And it's one of the flankers from CK1 line. And this basically focuses more on watermelon. But if you uh, smell it, okay, there's going to be always citrus. CK1 Summer is about citrus. Most of them, they have citruses, you know, some sort of lemon, lime. This one has that beautiful mouth-watering watermelon, kind of salty, kind of like a, a boozy. At the same time, you can smell the citruses from it. Very beautiful bottle. This is CK1 Summer 2021. Check out my review. Number nine is a fragrance. I am thinking I may keep it or maybe I won't. I like it, but I haven't fallen in love with it. I love the other flankers of it a lot more, but perhaps I, I should give it a little bit more time, okay? This is one of the latest flankers from the house of Aqua Digio Armani's Aqua Digio line. This is called Aqua Digio EDP, Eau de Parfum, okay? This one basically is not a citrus dominant fragrance, but they have added more citrus to that original Aqua Digio, so it remains and aquatic but with a lot of citrus so i get like lime lemon more like a lemon a lot more lemon and less of that florals perhaps i like it okay and don't make me say i like it it's very long lasting this lasts three times more than the original aqua digio but the original scent profile of aqua digio i like that a little bit more okay but this one remains in the list because of that you know let's just keep it here you know it's a new release right so this is aqua digio edp that's number nine Okay, we're gonna talk about um, number thing eight, right? Yes, number eight is gonna be a fragrance house of Dior. 
the only reason this is so low in the order many of you will complain like this is one of the best lemons right e absolutely i have something similar to this which made in the top five spot which i prefer over this one i just wished this fragrance had some longevity you know uh, so many people say they get good longevity i never got it this is diorum cologne so diorum spore is good but diorum cologne is the one that gives you the citrus it's like a, a people call it icy you know like what is a lemon uh, what's that thing that lemonade right so very fizzy lemon you just put in the fridge beautiful uh, ice cube looking bottle nice cloudy juice i like it you know i really like the smell the bottle is very beautiful but the thing is it's dior it's expensive and for the longevity it doesn't really last so i cannot uh, suggest this like it's a must buy or it's going to get you compliments or people may not smell it on you okay it's only uh, say most probably it's a skin scent and people who come intimate close to you or you know you are with your partner <coughs> she or he can smell it on you diorum cologne but smell is very fantastic only the price and longevity has issues but very nice fragrance diorum cologne next one i think is number 7 yeah number 7 is a fragrance i prefer over the dior because it's half the price but discontinue now that you can still find it at very good price this is one of the best bulgari flankers period okay this is bulgari man extreme or can call extreme this one has the cactus and citrus combo it has some other notes you know it has some surrounding notes it's a fresh clean and long lasting masculine perfume for summer this is a very underrated gem you know many people do not talk about it or know about it people just know about bulgari's man in black right so this is the one for summer very good performer if you're going for office work very professional smell and that lemon and this is very beautiful it's very charming with the cactus is very very charming check it out it's called bulgari bulgari man extreme number six then we hit top five number six a fragrance i bought i think last month or so or this month i forgot but uh it's not entirely lemon based but the name is very intriguing this is from house of mason martin margiela replica this is called under the lemon trees okay it's a juice color very nice lemony yellowish right and this house i have four fragrances right now but i don't love everything from this house some of the fragrance can be nice conceptually but i mean uh, you know like some of them are not really my favorites okay but many people love different fragrances from this house so under the lemon trees you're gonna get at first very nice lemon you know it's like opening is very beautiful citrus as lemon i think maybe amalfi lemon or some sort of lemon very refreshing but followed by some sort of a musky i forgot exactly what note it was um, it doesn't say here but basically it's a unisex perfume it gets a little bit floral maybe aldehyde type but it remains like a citrusy perfume but it changes it gets a little bit sweeter but still very good quality fragrance for summer longevity is okay not bad so replicas mason martin margiela under the lemon trees so that's like the first thing seven and then now we talk about top five top five when you talk about them they are my favorites you know i don't care what people feel about them this is my list right number five is versace versense for women okay uh when you talk about women people will be like many of you mm, women's perfume nah I'm not gonna worry you know that's totally understood some people don't want to be like a little bit unisex perfume wearing guys i understand you want to be more uh macho and all that but this fragrance right here is a gem one of my brothers uh talked about it how good this is and then i bought it and i just absolutely fell in love with it long time back this is my second bottle this is one of the best citrus based perfume ever this one has some florals it gets a little bit feminine I, I must admit it gets a little bit soft with the time but that longevity on this one is beast mode dior cannot come close to this versace is one of the best fragrance ever versace versace they have a lot of fragrances like this in this bottle but be careful what you buy they have a oud they have versace pour femme in this bottle but the green juice versace versace this is discontinued get this while you can very beautiful fragrance okay number four this is nishanes oolong cha this is uh, mr rahul sharma's signature scent this is a bit expensive for the fragrance but i understand you know like when you talk about nishane nishane house is not cheap okay i have 100 mil because i love it and you need a lot of uh, you know sometimes you need a big bottle when you do decant and use it side by side i used a lot i decanted uh, but this fragrance is very long lasting if you want a relaxing a green tea with citrus you know like lemon this one has that you know it's like a drop of lemon in there very citrusy very nice green tea very relaxing like a zen place it takes you very high class 
and extremely long lasting but soft projection you get every now and then waft of it okay definitely belongs in this list nishan is oolong cha but that's number four only so what are the top three that can beat oolong cha okay this is gonna be interesting right recent times i bought this full bottle i was i reviewed this long time back it's another women's perfume you see women's perfume some of them they're really beautiful uh when i reviewed it it was not my bottle it was my gf's bottle recently i got this bottle and i'm just so happy i have it okay this is house of chopard i think that's the name of the house and this is from the happy line happy chopard line this is lemon dulce or dulce uh this is that bottle take a look at that beautiful bottle this is such a stunning bottle okay i just absolutely love the cap it came a little bit faulty the cap uh it's like uh, uh this thing the cap this part came off and then it was like loose so i tried to put glue back but it kind of became a bit <laughs> ugly the very heavy cap check out my review on this one this one is absolute stunner you know man it got sprayed a little bit okay absolute beauty it's just a stunner of a fragrance you know like this perfume if you like uh, i just say in short if you like uh, edition blanche by chanel that's like a men's fragrance right but this one right here it will be a unisex offering for me it's a women's perfume it gets a bit like dolce gamana light blue like that pour femme but the opening that oranges the citruses the pomelo the lemon <sighs> hard to beat this stuff long lasting too but not quite be small right but this is the best from the line uh, as per my nose goes if you like lemon check out check out the bottle color you will get some idea green and uh, yellow beautiful so this is happy shopper lemon dolce or dolce so number 2 and number 1 very strong battle uh, number 2 usually always comes to my number 1 spot and this is the reason why diorum cologne is at the uh, little bit on the lower in the order but both are very good but this one particularly from chanel has way better longevity much more projection even though it's not a beast quite but better than dior <coughs> this is chanel alirum sport cologne and some of you may get bored like why he shows the same fragrance i am just a normal person i have a simple collection i have quite a few fragrances but i don't have everything right so i have to rotate what i have so this is one hands down on the best citrus based perfumes period if you want the best designer lemon based perfume get this one is better than chanel alirum sport a uh, whole of alior line edition blanche it can beat that but when you talk about uh, performance maybe not, maybe not the best and the alirum sport is the best but this one when you talk about lemon this is the way to go chanel alirum sport cologne and that leads me to number 1 some of you be like ho oh, those big names are uh, you know below the order was number 1 number 1 is a fragrance i just the day i sniffed it i knew i had to have it this is one of my dream come to perfumes very expensive but i think it's worth the price tag in a way because uh this fragrance smells so divine there's like there's some clones to it but i never really found a proper substitute for this is called bol de afrique by byredo there's a clone from paris corner which is good but performance wise this is way better uh, on me it's a beast mode performer but perhaps it's there's a issue of reformulation the newer batches not quite as long lasting as this one but you know sometimes even even if you ask me like uh, despite that longevity spotty longevity do you recommend this it's not as spotty as in like 1 hour it's gone you still will get 4 5 hours easy but i get from this 8 hours plus okay so balde afrique has beautiful fruit basket but at the same time it has amalfi lemon citrus is up top lemon you know that lemon note is there really clean fresh and easy to enjoy okay summer vibes at best okay this is number 1 today byredo balde afrique do let me know what you feel about the list what are your favorite lemon based perfumes i think i will do uh, the next individual reviews now have a nice day